Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that it is D-Day for South Canterbury Finance. Later on this afternoon, the Cabinet will decide on whether South Canterbury Finance survives or dies. Receivership is quite likely by the end of today if the government doesn't support a recapitalisation. Now that support could take the form of the government buying the bad bank, all the bad loans within South Canterbury Finance. However, the government risks not allowing South Canterbury Finance to go into receivership and eventually paying out more money over the long run. Remember, much of the $1.7 billion of investments in South Canterbury Finance are guaranteed by the government. Alan Hubbard says the government has rejected the idea of a bad bank. That cabinet decision is due probably around three to four o'clock and we'll know today or tomorrow whether South Canterbury survives. Meanwhile, the Serious Fraud Office is likely to come out with its decision on whether to lay charges against Alan Hubbard later this week. Alan Hubbard supporters say a report done by PricewaterhouseCoopers clears Alan Hubbard of any wrongdoing. This is in contrast to the one from Grant Thornton. And finally, Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke spoke over the weekend at Jackson Hole in front of a bunch of central bankers. He said the US economy wasn't growing as fast as he'd expected and that the Federal Reserve was willing to use unconventional measures to boost the economy if necessary. The stock market rose after that. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 98.9, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. Thank you.